I'll be showing you step by step how to add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. This is also a completely free method, so it's not going to require any paid applications. To add this countdown timer, we'll be using a completely free Shopify app, and it's called GSC Countdown Timer Bar. It makes it super easy to add a countdown timer, and as mentioned, it's completely free and it's very easy to set up. And I'll show you this entire step by step sequence so you can get this set up quickly. I'll leave a link in the description below for this app. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by just searching for it as well. Once you're on the install page, let's click install. This brings us to the installation page. If you're comfortable with the permissions, let's hit install here. So when we open the app, you should be prompted with this let's get started widget. So I'll click create widget here and we're going to get a choice. Do we want a small widget, a bar widget, or a large widget. So the large widget is good for the home page or collection pages. The bar one is probably just going to appear on every page on our Shopify store. We can also get a small one that we can put on specific product pages. Maybe a specific product is having a certain sale. I'm gonna go with bar here. And this is just going to be with the intention of a site-wide sale. So maybe this is Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or a special promotion. So I'll hit bar here. This is going to bring me to the customization page. The first thing we need to do is we need to activate this on our Shopify store. You should get a prompt here telling you to activate it. If you don't, you can open up the Shopify theme section manually. But if I click activate, this brings me to the Shopify theme editor. And once you're here, it's going to automatically navigate you to the app embed section. Stick Sticky means it's going to follow you as you scroll through the page, just like so here. And static means it's going to just stay at the top of the page. So if I were to scroll down, it's not going to follow me. I'll go with sticky here. And for the position, I'll set this to be at the top of my site. Next up, we get customization on how it looks. So there are quite a few preset options here. I like this black one, so I'm going to stick with this one. There are quite a few other ones, and you can also change things such as the font yourself and set things such as the mobile breakpoint. Let's move on to content, and here we can customize the language of the countdown timer. And overall, it's going to be up to you on how you want this to be styled exactly. You can also go and customize any of the preset colors, such as the background, blur, borders, and more. I'll leave this as the default here but I will change this. Let's say it's our Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale. And I'm gonna say ending in, then it's going to lead into my timer here. As for the label, I could say shop now. And for the link, you would wanna set this up to go to a specific sales section or a collection page on your site. Next up, we get a timer mode. So we could say a fixed date, so let's say this is a specific sale and I want this to end on August the 23rd. You could also run an evergreen timer. So you could say the sale is always gonna be 86 hours and 22 minutes from now. So if a customer to load their site, it's gonna say this for each new customer. And when the timer ends, I could hire the timer, I could start it again, or I could start it again in one day. Lastly, we get options on targeting. So I can say I want this to be on the homepage, I can toggle this on and on, or I could select any of these product pages by going to tag products, products and select collections. For now, I'll just leave this as to all products and all collections, as well as on the card page, password page, and any other page, as this is going to be a sale with a specific deadline, and it's going to apply to all my products. Now to finalize any of these changes, I just have to hit save at the top here, and that's going to save those nicely. Next up, let's go and preview how this actually looks. So on the left-hand side menu, I'm going to cover over online store, clicking on view your online store. And there it is right at the top, Black Friday, Cyber Monday sale, ending in this time. And these are all things I just customized. And if I scroll down the page, it's going to follow me because I did set it to be a sticky bar. Now you can follow this process for the product page one or the home page one as well. It's going to be up to you on how you want to display it. Overall, this app is extremely easy to set up. And I think it looks really nice here and really creates that sense of urgency on this Shopify store. I want to take a second here to say if you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. You have your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, shipping expenses, ad spend, and more, and it can be quite a headache to track in a spreadsheet. That's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. It syncs seamlessly with not only your store, but your cost of goods sold, transaction fees, and ad spend for all the different ad accounts on Facebook, Google, Snapchat, Bing, Pinterest, and TikTok, and it's super easy to set up. And once you're there, all you have to do is like the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations with a fully customizable dashboard 
that's going to let you truly understand your store's performance. And this is going to let you make smarter business decisions. You won't be guessing on how much money your store has made in the last week, month, or year. There are tons of different details, analytics, and metrics, all to help give you really solid insights into your store's performance. There's a 15-day free trial, so you can test drive everything for yourself. I'll leave a link in the description below to the Shopify app listing. You can also just search for it in the Shopify app store by searching Profit Calc and then looking for this logo in the top left. So make sure you check that out. And as mentioned, it has a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. This concludes the video here on how to add a countdown timer to your Shopify store. We did so using a completely free app and we went step by step on how to set everything up. If this video helped at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.